You will need your scissors, your exacto knife, your bezel pendant, your Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, and also, we can't forget about your E6000 glue. And we'll also be using Epson Premium Presentation Paper in matte. And I'll be using GIMP Digital Software. So I've heard of a lot of people who use different softwares. They use uh, Microsoft Word, Photoshop, Adobe, even Design Space. GIMP is just what I'm working on to build up my digital skills. Um, and it's free. You just download it to your computer. And there's tons of YouTube videos on what to do and how to do it in GIMP. So right now, I'll just be choosing my picture, which is a wallpaper that I made in Canva. It is um, the background, the black and gold is what I bought off of Etsy. And it is commercial free use, I believe is what it says. You can use it for business or personal, whatever you plan on using it for. You can use it without being afraid to get sued. Um, so I'll be choosing another picture because we will be doing a double-sided pendant today. And I'm going to resize and make sure they both look good. And then I'm going to print it out and we'll start working on our bezels. So now our pictures are done. We're going to go ahead and grab our Mod Podge and put on a small amount. You don't need a lot and you don't want a lot because you don't want to get a lot of bubbles. But you want to make sure that you have full co coverage underneath your glass. I almost got tongue tied. Did y'all hear that? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Once you get your Mod Podge and your glasses on top, you want to press down firmly. You don't want to move around too much because if you press too hard and your finger is moving around, your glass is going to slip off of your image and you'll have to do the whole process over again. So firm, but don't move your finger around and make sure that you don't have any bubbles in there. Once you have waited about 10 to 15 minutes for the front to dry, you want to flip it over and we're going to do our first coat on the back. So I usually do two. Sometimes I do one depending on how much I put on the back, but more than likely I'm doing two coats on the back. So we're doing that and then we're going to let this dry for another 10 to 15 minutes and then um, put on our second coating. Now that we've waited the appropriate amount of time that I'm comfortable with, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting. I do try to cut as close as I can. I even cut at an angle just to make sure that I'm getting as much of the dried up Mod Podge that's on the glass. Once I'm finished cutting, I do take my X-Acto knife and I go around my circle getting any dried up Mod Podge that's left on the edge. As you can see right now, sometimes depending on how long you leave it, it'll be caked on. Sometimes I even have to do it over if I've let the charm sit for too long. But if you do it within an hour, two hours even, you can still just go ahead and gently scrape it off. If it's too much on there, like what I'm doing now, I'll take some scissors and I just cut away until it's just the Mod Podge that I see. And this is pretty much the final step before adding the E6000 glue.
now that our pictures are good, our pendants are dry, now it's time for the fun part. All we do is put our E6000 into the pendant and put our glass on top of it. I do not recommend putting a lot or else the glue will start to seep out over the sides when you go to push it down. I also do not advise to put both of the pictures on if you're doing a double-sided pendant at the same time. For video purposes, I did it, but I do not suggest you do it. I would say to wait until they've had some time to dry and get tacky so it doesn't move around. But that is the end of our video. I really hope I was able to help somebody. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that you would like to me to explain further, just put it in the comments below. See you next time.